Uh. God damn it, it just creeps crashing. Now, buddy, it is true. The swept wing is dead. Yes, well, some of the fighter jets from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and maybe the 90s, like this F-14 Comtat, had a beautiful swept wing that could, you know, retract and come out just like an insect would spread its wing. Our modern fighter jets don't have them anymore. F-22, F-35, and the Eurofighter, those don't have a swept wing, and maybe today we'll figure out why that is. But everybody, 50 years ago, so a swept wing was actually quite genius because you were able to give a plane two modes. A takeoff mode where you can put the wings out and those would nicely, you know, create some lift. And so with some flaps together, you could easily take off from aircraft carriers like that. Easy, easy, easy. Airplane is able to gain lift super quickly. And now we're off in the air. And of course, our other mode is the fast mode. This is, of course, a supersonic airplane. And so we can put it into supersonic mode. Yes, due to the reduced drag of this plane practically now becoming a Delta aircraft. You can see, yes, it's kind of like in sport mode with the traction control off. And you can see, yes. The airplane goes quick, very fast. And I was thinking, well, why did we never do this in airliners? Obviously a stupid idea. Yes, why don't we have conventional airplanes that do this? <laughs> that do this? Sorry, that is that is a bit of a dumb animation. That actually, that is not too... That is not great. All right, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's a lot better. Yes, we can customize our wing sweep as much as we want. And we have a fighter service vision jet. Yes, I've been cooking once again in the development software. So let's go ahead and see what would have happened if we were to actually build civilian airplanes with variable wing sweep. I mean, honestly, this thing will go a lot quicker now, I imagine. Because those big wings right here do make a difference in high speed. Maybe with some bigger airliners, we might be able to go supersonic. Let's take a look here. There we go. Landing gears up. You know, the Surge Vision Jet is known for being not the fastest jet at all because it's slightly underpowered. All right, now we're flying with a normal wing configuration. What I'm doing now here is we've got some sort of time lapse going on. What I'm doing now here is waiting to see how fast can we get in this airplane with a normal wing mode and see, well, can we have any improvements through our swept wing? There we go, 238. We're not really getting faster than that in any way. 240, okay. I mean, the red line speed anyway is 250, but that's gonna change definitely now when we put the wing back. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit and see what the autopilot does. There you go, that's a bit more speed. Maybe a little bit more, a bit more wing. It's a very fast motor here. And that's fine. All right, a little bit of effect here. Let's see, how fast can we really go? Nicely sweep the wing back. That is a lot of wing sweep now. And you're definitely able to see that we're, you know, able to reach higher speed. Obviously, we have less drag. Come on, maybe a little bit more. Maybe this much. I don't think this is realistic now. Obviously, we lose a little bit of altitude here. We can fix that. And now we're going faster than ever. Perfect. Yes, this airplane can now go faster because of our wing sweep. One other advantage this brings is definitely lower fuel consumption, obviously because of a whole lot less drag. Trouble is, this is not very realistic. I mean, you've got so many issues with a swept wing like this. Landing gear is one of them. You can see it's kind of, we've just ignored the landing gear being there underneath the wing. But yes, I mean, in the wing, there's fuel stored. Now you can't do that anymore, or not really that well. Obviously the moving parts are a really bad idea too. I mean, there is a reason why maintaining a fighter jet is insane expensive and was especially with the f-14 because these things just kept breaking way too vulnerable this is this is why it's an absolute dumb idea but come on all right time to actually try this now with an airliner this is the md-80 and the only plane i can think of now that we can build a swept wing like this had <laughs> to this is not gonna fly is it this is definitely not gonna fly. That, that, that is an insane angle. The only reason we're able to use this airplane for our concept is of course, the engines are mounted at the tail, right? I mean, you wouldn't be able to do this with a 737 because these engines would just be swept away. That would be stupid. Let's maybe try to take off here in our normal takeoff mode, just like we did with a fighter jet. Come on, you can do it. Come on, MD-80, you're able to do this, I know. Yes, there we go. This is what I mean, yes. In our high lift mode, we can now get those flaps down and already prepare, at least mentally, for fast 
flying. Maybe skip to cruise flight. All right. Now, uh, what is it? 28,000 feet and reached cruising altitude. We're trying to accelerate with our airplane now. 0.6 Mach. All right. So now we've kind of reached top speed. 0.7 Mach here. And we can see the fuel flow of our airplane. 4,000 pounds per hour, which is roundabout climbing because this airplane has to go full power into the engines in order to maintain the speed. I think with a little wing sweep like that, a little bit more, kind of like that. Maybe with less drag, we're able to, to do a lot better. And yes, you can see the autopilot has to put in less power than before to maintain the same speed. Quite a lot less. Um, yeah, you would you would save some money on fuel. Let me go and try this a little bit further here. This is now crazy mode. I do think the fuel savings will be overtaken by the maintenance cost, but that's okay. Take a look. We're even able to get a little bit less fuel consumption. We're now consuming half a fuel. That's not bad. That's actually very good. Let me do the extreme way. I don't... <laughs> There's no way. I've only developed this airplane to have 70 degrees of wing sweep like the F-14, but this is a bit extreme in the texturing. But we can tell, all right, first of all, this airplane is losing altitude. Let's see what the autopilot can do about it. All right, I think we kind of ruined our fuel savings now. Although, yeah, now this is back to normal. Probably because these engines have now got to provide a lot more power. So this is actually a lot better than this is how we can save fuel. I really just wouldn't want to take off like this, right? We're probably going to need a whole lot of a longer runway. I mean, this is a factor that you have to take into account as well. A possible failure, yes. You'd have to be able to land this plane without the wings actually being out. Yes. What happens if mid-flight, the hydraulics of the wing pusher fails and you have to fly anyway? There we go. We're nicely able to reach speeds. Dude, that is no problem. I just highly doubt that we're able to be able to fly well, right? Come on, sweat wing MD80. You can use all the runway you need. Everything's fine. I don't think putting out flaps helps. Uh, come on. Maybe a little more flap. There you go. They're coming out. That's not bad. And we're able to take off at... 220 knots. We're able to rotate. Yes, this airplane does fly relatively well still. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's... Shoot. Uh, God damn it, it just creeps crashing. We need to go faster. All right, yeah. With a little bit of proper speed, we're probably going to do this. There you go. Come on. Uh, come on, stop. Oh, touchdown. Scheiße. Come on. Yeah, we're doing hard gear over speed. It's genuinely hard to maintain flight with this airplane in this state. Like, genuinely, I can't do it. Come on, just really nice and quick. Ah, uh, there you go. Yeah, it's, it wants to drop again. Oh, gee. All right, let's just... Let's stop now. I need you to stop now. Now, 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 now. Please stop. Please just do it. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Stop quicker. Stop quicker. Oh, the brakes are smoking hot. All right. Yeah. Stop faster. All right. That's a little bit awkward. That's the best thing I can do, honestly. Yeah, it's probably the worst thing that could happen on this kind of plane. It's definitely the sweep wing failing. That's definitely worse than any flap failure you could have. So, everybody, that's the sweat wing for you. It died, especially now on fighter jets because it's too expensive to maintain. We've just gotten a lot better in wing design. I mean, the F-35 is so nice and stealthy, which the F-14 could never be because of that rough wing. This weapon really was a good design choice before the times we had computer simulations, but which we definitely knew what airplanes were going to fly like. We've gotten so advanced that we don't need this abandoned tech anymore. Come on, let's maybe see. Can we fly anyway? Come on. Sirius Vision Jet. We need to fly despite our wing being very swept now. Take off. Don't be shy. Don't be shy, little Sirius won't get into the air. Come on, we need a bit more speed. 160 now. We've used all runway now. Uh, all right, fence. Fence coming up. Yes, 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 yes. All right. That was a slight overrun. And with 150 knots, we're able to fly somewhat well. That actually is working. So, everybody, thank you guys so, so much for watching this swept video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.